I think this is the lamb. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. Not the best morning here in Istanbul. Woke up this morning to news that there has been a military coup or an attempted military coup. Still not sure what exactly is going on. But when we came back last night from dinner at about 9 p.m., everything appeared to be fine. The city was, everything was going on well and normal. And we came back to our hotel and everything was fine. But it was about at 3 a.m. when Ying and I were just sleeping and we heard this, these incredible like booms, sonic booms, and even our hotel, the entire, the entire building shook and the windows shook. And it happened a couple of times and I, I had no idea what it was, but then I heard a sound in the distance that sounded like a jet, so I thought it was military jets. So then I thought, what could this be? So I checked the news and I figured out that there had been a or there was a military coup happening at that moment at 3 a.m., around 3 a.m. So we've been up ever since hearing, um, hearing things and it is now about 6 a.m. It is completely quiet and deserted on the streets from our view. We have a view of the Bosphorus. Even the Bosphorus is quiet. There are no boats. The road outside where normally at this time there has been lots and lots of traffic is completely quiet and deserted. I'm really not sure what's going on, uh, but we are praying for Turkey and we really hope for the best. And also Ying and I are grateful that we have a safe place to stay. It's about 7 a.m. now. have just been watching the news and following social media. Everything is still very, very quiet outside, but they have announced that the coup was unsuccessful and I think the coup attempters are surrendering, but I'm still not, it's still confusing as to what's all going on, but my thoughts are with the people here and this amazing country of Turkey. I think we're gonna go have breakfast now downstairs. breakfast buffet time and they have all of the typical breakfast buffet dishes but then it's more on the Turkish side so they have all the little um, olives and cheeses and different deli meats and so I got a selection of different things for my first plate. Whenever I eat at a hotel buffet I try to take advantage of some of the things that I don't get to eat very often such as smoked salmon. Yeah. Smoked salmon is just a wonderful thing. I think these are little peppers stuffed with cheese. And then I also got some of this red pepper paste, which I'm gonna add, which would be, I think would make a, be a great idea to add. Mm -hmm. That red pepper paste is not very spicy, but it does have a wonderful roasted chili flavor to it. Got my next plate of food now. This time I went with a mixed plate of many different things. The omelet, the bacon, more of that chili paste. That chili paste is awesome. Some fruit and lots of tomatoes. The combination that I've really been loving is some of this chili paste. It has like a, it has a chili flavor, but there's also some other spice in there. Maybe, maybe cumin. And with the tomato, this works brilliantly. And then garlic and maybe some nuts in there too. I'm not, I'm not fully sure, but it's awesome. Yeah, that chili paste is amazing. Grapefruit. That is nice and juicy. It's about 11 a.m. after breakfast. Ying and I just came back to the room and have been working and hanging out here. There's kind of been a, they reached a point where the news just sort of cut off. Although I have heard definitely that the coup was unsuccessful. Istanbul still looks extremely quiet, although there are some vehicles on the road now and taxis and some boats. And I think that public transportation is working, but I'm not sure exactly the current situation at Taksim Square or at some of the areas of Istanbul and it's pretty hard to find information actually so we're hanging out still. You can see way over in the distance now. Not sure if my camera can zoom that far but you can see that the bridge over there where many of the events took place is now working and there are cars going back and forth on it. It's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. My hair is probably a little bit messed up as I just woke up from a nap. 
looking out the window, there are more and more cars on the streets and it's looking more busy, still not very busy. I have been in touch and in contact with a number of locals from Istanbul and many have advised me to stay inside today to not go anywhere. And so as much as I'd like to go out and eat, um, I think we're gonna stay put today. And also, even, even if we went outside, I'm sure there are most of the restaurants or many restaurants might not even open today. So I, I don't think it's worth the risk to go outside to go anywhere today. The in-room dining menu. Hello, can I order the, the Turkish mixed grill? Yeah, for one person. And then also spaghetti. Can I order um, spaghetti with, with tomato sauce with chicken? Thank you very much. All right, 25 minutes, our order will be delivered to the room. Mixed grill coming up. Okay, okay. Hello, Hello. 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 Yes, thank you. Hello, Hello. 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 All right. And I wasn't expecting him to wheel in the entire table. I ordered the mixed grill, have some raw onions in the middle, a grilled pepper and tomato on the side, chicken, I think this one is the kafta, and then maybe steak, and then a lamb chop. It's a little bit smaller than I had imagined, but it does look good. I'm gonna start with the, the kafta. Mm, yeah, that's like a little hamburger patty, and then with really finely shaved onions, and I think some sumac in there. Mm, okay. That's a good lamb chop. That is fatty and juicy. Let me break into this pepper. And then I will eat a bite of this, this piece of meat. Yeah, I think that's beef. And then chicken. Oh, I think, and I'll get, get some rice on this bite also. Mm. The rice is, I think that's tomato, but also has a chili flavor to it. And this bread has been mopping up all of the meat juices. So you can see the, the flavor that is within this bread. Break off a piece of the, that. Get some onions in here. Mm. Yeah, that brings it all together. It's a good thing we bought those cherries yesterday at the Egyptian bazaar from that nice man. Mm. They're so good. I think it's pretty obvious that today has been a completely unplanned and a completely different day from any of the other days so far that we've had on this round the world trip for food. And I wanna quickly just take this opportunity to share a little bit about my thoughts when it comes to travel and safety. And also I wanna acknowledge that Ying and I are very grateful and very thankful to have uh, this amazing hotel room. We are safe here, we have everything we need, and we are very grateful to be here in this current situation. There are definitely places that are more risky to travel to and that have a higher uh, statistics of being more dangerous. But at the same time, a lot of media, and especially with the internet and social media, sometimes uh, not, not really over-exaggerates, but they, you don't get the full context 
of what's going on in a certain destination. You do want to pay attention to the news and to what's going on in the world, but at the same time, it's important to get a wider perspective on what's going on to any destination that you choose to travel. And when it comes to actual safety, I, I like to think of the, that I have a mentality and I, I like to use the mentality that anything could happen anywhere. One could be just at home and something bad could happen or somebody could be off in a dangerous country, so to speak, and could be totally fine. But at the same time, you really do have to um, kind of use your own discretion and and really pay attention to what's going on and make your decision. Another point that I'd like to emphasize is that it is important that you feel comfortable. And my dad always taught me this, that it's important when you travel that you need to be comfortable to the destination you're going. I do like to emphasize getting out of your comfort zone when you travel and having new experiences. But at the same time, it's also important to be comfortable and to to feel comfortable and confident. And so that just really briefly in a nutshell sums up a little bit about my thoughts when it comes to travel and safety. I think it's really important to know your risk and to do your research, but then to also be confident and comfortable in the destination that you visit. Again, I know that this has been a completely different video and a different day from the other days, but I wanna say thank you for watching today's video. I don't think we're going out anywhere today. I'm gonna to end the video for today right now as I'm just gonna hang out here in the hotel room. But my heart and my thoughts go out to the people of Turkey. Uh, we've only been in Turkey for two full days. But on those two full days, I met many, many just amazing people, uh, friendly people, hospitable and genuine people. And the food was delicious. The people were amazing, and so my heart really goes out to Turkey right now. I'm hoping for the best situation out of all of this, and also keeping in mind the victims and those who have suffered through this situation. Good night from Istanbul, Turkey.